I have downloaded my studio at this path right you can see this thing ls hyphen l so my studio means at this path just go to the files go to the files then softwares software into the software Android so you would be getting this zip file whenever you download the studio you'd be getting this zip file extract it you'll find this folder and once you go inside bin inside bin here you would be getting a double clickable dot exe so you can come with your laptops right so that we can make the environment so double clickable exe you will find over here so double tap on that your studio would be getting started I am using Linux so I am much familiar with the commands I am going to just run dot studio dot sh it will open my what you can say Android studio something like this right so this is your first screen this is your very first screen that you are dealing with now how to create the project how to deal with that we'll see I'm going to show you first how to create the project and after that how to push that project onto the github that is very important right now let me create new project before creating the project let me create your repository go to the I'll go to the code cool 2017 feb any folder you can create absolutely now here what I can do is that one folder and 17 then you can have what's the date 18 Feb 18 and 2 to 4 Feb and it is weekend you can say weekend 18 it's not this 4 to 6 it is okay so into this folder I would be creating new project right so studio is getting started see so my studio has been started I can select new then new project over here then name of the project you can say weekend app right I can say weekend app then the company domain right this thing company domain domain name is important domain name is important why because by this application or by this domain name your application on the Play Store is going to get identified by this name your application on the Play Store is going to get identified right so this is important you can change it from here edit you can say com dot code cool dot my dot app dot first dot any dot whatever it is but first thing should be reverse domain name your domain company domain com dot code cool dot your project name and from that your module should be getting started okay now see here just I have created this one right we can into this folder I want to create the project into this folder I want to create the project you can say next right and here is that screen here is that screen where you are going to say that what should be the minimum version of your Android what should be the maximum version so here you are saying that minimum on API level 14 that is ice cream sandwich so this app will run from ice cream sandwich to the nugget so here you have selected minimum would be the 4.0 maximum would be the nugget right here you have selected okay then if you want to make for the wear TV Android Auto and the glass please have the tick 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 that's it right so we don't need this 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 I'm just bothering about this thing presently app development and other things are very simple you can get connected or you can learn that very much easily 
okay now I can say next something like this and here is the template selection what template you would be needing right what template you would be needing so presently I am selecting this next next and say finish yes predefined templates Android gives you you can you can make so write on the XML and you can make it that's fine which one yes absolutely everything is changeable it is a flexible system right you can change it anytime absolutely yes yes you can change it you can change it right you can change it here I have created the project so your project has been completed right your project has been completed and here are your files here are your few files that is setting dot gradle which will say that how many modules you have right then local dot properties where is your SDK path that it is telling you where is your SDK path that it is telling you then these are some runners you can say these are some runners means you are going to start the application from this gradle w dot bat means if you want to make the build if you want to make the java doc these two are going to help you this is for linux this is for windows right then gradle dot properties what gradle you use how many jvm size heap size you would be needing that you can give over here simply right then build dot gradle <coughs> from where you are going to pull the code from where you are going to pull the code that is a maven that thing you are going to express over here right maven all, all the settings related to maven are expressed over here right project configuration related to all the projects see in these files you are not going to deal with in detail right you, you are not going to deal with these files in detail so your area of the interest is this file your area of the interest is this file right so build.gradle you are going to use just to add few dependencies over here or to add the flavors that I'll let you know time to time right but for now what I want to do is that I want to push this project to the github I want to push this project to the github for that let me go to the github so our code cool is having one repository called as codecool github.com forward slash codecool remember that github forward slash github.com forward slash codecool okay now here what I want to do is that I want to create a new repository this is my github username you can create your own account on the github very simple and it is free so I cannot tell my password to you now here I can create new repository see this new and I can say Android or say 17 18 4 to 6 right then month and Android remember that this is your tag batch tag very simple 17 2017 starting date 18 4 to 6 in the month of Feb and it is for the Android and weekend fine and remember that this is your batch tag this is your batch tag and create the repository so you have created the repository on the github and on the github we are going to push all of our codes right now I'll show you just see over here can you find this VCS over here VCS version control system that is nothing but the VCS version control system right click on the VCS can you see this enable version control integration 
click on the enable version control integration and then it will ask you to select VCS you are going to use with CVS mercurial subversion or the git I am going to work with the any git solution select the git can be bitbucket can be itself github right and then say ok means this your project this your project right is added to the local repository means your local repository has been created on your machine suppose you are 10 developers one is developing from here one is in the US one is in the Japan one is in the Delhi right and all want to merge the code all want to integrate together so git is that solution git provides you a help to integrate your all the codes that's all about the github right now how github works your local repository and the remote repository need to be synced right local repository and the remote repository need to be synced so I have enabled let me show you what I did something about the color paint so here this is your local repository just you created the local repository now you say how do you know that thing I have created the local repository right click hang on okay yes so I'll show you show in the files and view show hidden files can you find this dot git folder so this dot git folder identifies that or suggests that this project is on the git on the local so this is the local repository for the git okay now so you have created the local repo all your source all your source codes would be committed I'm saying all your source would be committed so I'm calling it as commit all your source on the local from your editor to the repo or you can say local repo I can say local repo so your local changes are pushed to the local repo what I'm saying commit your source here I can say source your local sources are committed to the local repo now from the local repo this is something remote repo which is on the github you can say github so it is a kind of one folder on the github means you have committed your changes local files to the local repo right from the editor to the local repo and from the local repo you are going to what push this is nothing but something called as push this is something called as what push if you want to get from the lo git remote repo you are going to have first time it is clone right first time you are going to do the clone and second time that would be the pull first time that would be the clone second time that would be the pull I'll show you live so this just git has been initialized add this your source to the git <coughs> local repo add this source to the local repo say add <coughs> see this coloring earlier it was red now it is a green which suggests that current file or green file is added to the local repo but not committed now if you want to commit right click git and commit you need to give the status why you are committing initial commit you can say initial commit very first thing I am committing for the first thing and click on the commit something like this say commit now you have committed now you are going to push to the remote 
repo see this git repository and the push so it is asking you to which remote repository I need to push just go to your remote repository copy this line and paste it say okay it is checking that's happening or not happening and say push right it is asking me git password yes this would be my git password and it is pushing the code if you make the refresh over here if you make the refresh over here see here I got the project a minute ago I have pushed this right I have pushed this code a minute ago means from my machine to remote now if you want to have this on your machine you will never ask me for pen drive so this would be your repository so you will go over here and clone the project git clone and the project link git space clone space link source would be on your machine right that's all about git setting if you have any questions please ask